YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a Mary Magpie doll from artist Joey Versal. And this doll, uh, I had not heard of her until kind of recently. Uh, the blog Dolldom did a article about her, and when I saw her, I like fell in love with her. And so he actually did a second round. So there was a debut. Um, order of the Mary Magpie doll and then her friend Miss Monday and so I you know I was too late on the debut but then on the second order what happened was I um I was late and I didn't get a Miss Mary I got a Miss Monday though so I ordered a Miss Monday well he posted there's a group on Facebook the Miss um, the Mary Magpie fan group and he posted that there was one uh, Mary left from the debut and I just happened across it right at the right time so I sent him a message and I was able to snag her so this is the debut Miss Mary excuse you so I am really um, excited because I missed out on the Mary in the second pre-order I got the Monday but now here she is and this is the kind of doll like I just I love her face I love her body I love her outfit look at the gorgeous artwork um, by Darko on the the cover of the box here this is absolutely fantastic so I think this is the kind of doll that I'm a doll collector first and foremost right but I think people that are art collectors that collect all different types of art I mean I think dolls are art but I think there are people who collect all different types of art besides just dolls that are very interested in this doll because she's so gorgeous and she's so unique and I don't have anything like this in my collection so I'm really pumped to open her up and look at her. I just kind of want to like show you guys the box as it opens. Alright so this is the debut Miss Mary. She's number 9 out of 100. That's beautiful. I don't know what that's called. Is that called vellum paper? I don't know. It's a little bit... Um, it's kind of cool so all right this is gonna be a really nice experience so we've got um, this oh so this is like a this is a wrapped padding there to keep her cushioned in nicely look at this this is so much fun so she comes with two faces oh my gosh I love it I, th I think they called this um, cyberpunk pink it's like a latex pink dress how cool is that it's like so it's so retro futuristic like the whole thing all right i'm feeling a little squealish here all right so i'm going to remove her things here and um just like i was saying like i totally fell in love with this doll i was like like really really pumped to be able to get one like super pumped and the 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 second wave of orders sold out really fast like that's why i missed getting um mary in the second order because they sold out super quick i was i was lucky to be able to grab a monday so she'll be coming soon wow all right let's pull her out now she is resin so she is a resin fashion doll and you can see she's got god i love those hips look at the way the hips are oh man i haven't even put her face on and i'm already like uh. she reminds me of like the porcelain barbies that they did in the um i want to say it was the 90s oh my gosh y'all i don't even have her face out yet her faces and I'm already like dying I love this dress she is so curvy she's like she's so much sexier than Barbie <laughs> sorry Barbie like she is amazing she's very like just rabbit. so okay let's see what we've got in our little goodie bags all right the, the this this is a very nice um, experience with the unboxing like I've said before I love when you have like a really so many cool like such a nice thoughtful way that things are packaged okay so these are her pumps 
to check those out. I think those are probably resin as well. Very sexy black pumps. Let's see if we can get them to stay on. Sometimes these resin shoes, oh look, the bottoms are painted purple. Nice touch. Sometimes these resin shoes will stay on and sometimes I'll put a little either hot glue or put a little um, silicone ear plug in it to make them stay on, it just depends. All right, so I'm gonna check the shoes to see if they will stay on and um, it looks like they will, but oh, that one is a little. So like if you're gonna display your standing up, that's fine. I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll add a little um, either putty or hot glue to hold those on. But that, look at that silhouette. I love it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely perfect. All right, so I'm gonna take those off and just set them to the side for now. She's so beautifully packaged. Like seriously, beautifully, beautifully packaged. All right, this is a wig. So this is her blonde wig. And we will hang on to that until we get a face on because it's not gonna look right without a face. Okay, so we got, this is, what is this? This is, oh, this is her stand. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. A Mad Doll Stands. Madaboutb.com, I wonder if that means Barbie. That's cool. That's really nice. I love this. I love this cyberpunk pink color. It's really, like, it's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna put her on the stand, since we have the stand. Let's see if I can get it up her dress, because her dress is very um, tight. the dress off to get the stand up there because it's a little tight. That's okay. We'll set that to the side for now. And now let's get to the faces. So you guys still haven't seen her face. She has the most awesome RBF, like the 20, the face of 2020. That is Miss Mary Magpie right here. Like I love it so much. Look at that. Look at those arches on those brows oh I love it I love the way the face is painted and so obviously there's inspiration from like the original Barbie with the white irises and the build lily doll so there is one face let's see gorgeous let's do I'm gonna show you the other face too, because I might like the other face better. All right, the other face that we have is <laughs> this one, and I love it. I love like the look of pure exasperation of this face because it's so 2020. First of all, it's so 2020, but also I just, it gives her so much character. And it's got teeth in it. And you guys know I love teeth. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna put her wig on. Yay. I am like super duper pumped about this. All right, so wig is going on. If you hear something, it's just, just the cats. Going nuts per usual. It's their usual. Mm -hmm. right. so. There she is. Oh, I love it. I love her, y'all. She is so much fun. I am so glad. I am so, so glad that I was able to snag her. And she's full resin. I can't remember if I said that, but she's fully resin. And she feel, the resin is super smooth, like really, really smooth. And so one thing, so people may say like, well, I just like ball joint dolls or whatever. 
there's a there's an advantage to this type of doll that's not got all the joints in it and that is that the actual look of the doll is a lot smoother so it's more natural so you've got this smooth gorgeous arm like the less jointing the more natural a doll looks and so you've got you know it's just more natural and, and there's there's a beauty to that and being you know with with the ball jointed dolls you trade off some of that beauty in the in the lines and the sculpt for the posability but that's one thing that is really cool about this doll and that's why i was saying i don't really have anything like this because this is the only um resin doll i have that's not ball jointed i'm pretty sure as i say that i'm like thinking but i think this is the only one i have that's not you know super duper jointed so i want to put her on the stand um so let's i'm gonna take her dress off also so you guys can kind of see a little bit of her curves so because she is a curvy curvy lady very curvy And she's gonna be a lot of fun to redress because um, there's fashions on the, I know I might not have thought about this too well, but we're gonna see. So you can see like the curves there, like that tiny waist, very, 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 very Mrs. Rabbit here. Super curvy and you know, so this is a ball joint here and she is strong. Just look, there's some stringing up in there. So what I'm gonna do is put this on and then let's see. Let's see if I can get her dress back on. This is gonna be a delicate operation right here. I love this dress. Did I already say that? I love it. I love the like material it's made out of. I love the color. I love like how bright and awesome it is. I love the like printing on it. It's really cool. Like it's upcycled, which is, you know, that's a cool touch. Let's see, let's get that formed around here. I'm gonna put her, oh, so it actually doesn't, oh, it actually doesn't fit all the way up into her crotch. So maybe it's not, it's not supposed to. I didn't realize that. Cause this is, unless it's telescopic, it is telescopic. That's the problem. That's why I couldn't get it before. Cause it is a telescopic stand. How do you like them apples? Wow. Okay, so now I've got her on her stand. And then I'm going to put her RBF back on. There she is. And I'm trying to feel the magnets are loose. Because I have a lot of dolls where the magnets are kind of loose on the face. But hers doesn't feel like it is. So I'm not too worried about the face. just Because you don't want the face flying off and the paint getting ruined. Right? Especially like when your wig changing, that's when it always happens. I have a couple of dolls that their faces, every time I change their wigs, their faces tend to fly off. So I actually put a little bit of hot glue in between the face plate and the head. Because hot glue peels off very easily from resin. You just don't want to get it on the, um, the paint or the sealant because it'll pull that off with it when you go to peel it. So I'm just kind of doing this. Ugh. She's so fabulous. She's just so, she's so cool, y'all. She's so much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna turn her around so you can get the, I think this is definitely my favorite face though. I love that face. So I'm like, I'm super thrilled with her. And her packaging is so amazing. Like all these gold fabulous bags and her, her box is amazing. The artwork on her box is amazing. Um, I'm gonna get her little shoes attached. She is just, she's really like to die for. I'm so thrilled that I was able to, to snag one of these ladies. So I'm gonna keep her other face plates. Um, 
in her box so I don't lose it. Ooh, look, even the, the ribbon, the purple ribbon is iridescent. Oh, so let's see what's on this paper. So that, I didn't check that out. So there was an iteration of Mary Magpie before this one, which I wasn't familiar with her then. Like I said, I just recently became familiar with her. Um, but it's interesting because she has been around for a while. Oh, it's a pattern. Oh, how cool. So she came with a pattern for making and it's already like printed on thick cardstock. I don't sew, but that's fun. Like if I ever wanted to try to sew, how awesome is that? So we've got a, a dress and a um, hose pattern. Oh cool, that's super cool. That's a really thoughtful thing to include. And in the fan group, I've seen a lot of people redressing theirs and sharing pictures. So um, that's always nice to see how other collectors display their dolls and, and dress and, you know, do different things with their dolls. So that's cool. Um, but wow, like I'm, I'm really, really stoked about her. She is, she's something special. She's, like I said, I don't have anything. The closest thing I would have to her in my collection would be Pigeon Petite, um, which I just got, you know, I just opened her up a couple days ago from Modern Doll. So that's gonna be the closest thing to this I have because Pigeon Petite is a, like a, meant to be a fashion kind of doll like this. Oh, she's so like, I really just love her, like her, her face. It's just, it's so expressive and it's like, that's how I feel inside sometimes. I love it. So anyway, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will link the artist's Etsy shop and I'll also link the article um, on Dolldom about them so you can read more about these wonderful dolls. And if you like this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.